This is the best way to speed up Adobe Premiere Pro in 2023. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere gets updated every year and there's a ton of new features. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can speed up Premiere Pro in 2023. So let's jump into it. Tip one, cache files. When you start a new project in Premiere Pro, the first thing you should do is go into your system preferences because we're gonna change a few settings. First, head to the media cache section and make sure to have your media cache files set to save to the hard drive you're gonna use for video editing. Just select this and make a folder called media cache files and I'm gonna save that on my edit hard drive. If you've got a full project open like this, simply press remove media cache files and make sure you have automatically delete cache files older than ticked and then set it up for about 15 days. Don't worry about cache files. Cache files are just preview renders, so it's fine to get rid of these. Tip two, RAM. Next, go to the memory tab and make sure you drag this all the way down. This will determine how much RAM is being used by Premiere Pro. And by allocating almost all the RAM to Premiere Pro, it's gonna make it run a lot faster. It's basically like giving yourself a free RAM upgrade for your Mac or PC. And now when you use Premiere Pro, make sure any other programs that you have open are closed to prevent any conflicts. Even apps as simple as Twitter can use a lot of RAM. Tip three, playback. This is a super simple one, but make sure your playback is set to the lowest quality instead of having it set to full. This will decrease some of the lag when you play back your footage, especially when you're working with 4K, 10-bit or 6K footage. Tip four, mute effects. The next tip is when you're already in a big project and with a full timeline, color grade, effects, transition, and graphics. You can mute all of these by clicking this tool here. If it's not visible, you can click this plus icon and you'll find it here. And just drag it into this pane to show it. Now you can toggle this on and off and hide all of the effects you've added, speeding up the performance on Premiere Pro. Tip five, create proxies. Proxies in Premiere Pro are lower resolution versions of your original footage that can be used during the editing process to improve performance. When you use proxies, Premiere Pro will substitute the lower resolution proxies for the original high res footage when you're editing, and then switch back to the high res footage when you're ready to export your final project. To create proxies in Premiere Pro, you'll need to go to the Media tab and then select the footage that you want to create proxies for. From there, you can select the Create Proxies and then choose the resolution and codec you want to use for your proxies. Once the proxies are created, you can switch between the high res footage and the proxies by clicking the original and proxy buttons in the program monitor. Tip six, shortcuts, shortcuts, shortcuts. Premiere Pro has a ton of keyboard shortcuts and using them will speed up your editing time by over 40%. So either print them off and learn them all off by heart or grab a color-coded Editor's Keys keyboard or Premiere Pro keyboard cover. I'll put links in the description below. Tip seven, grab a fast hard drive. Be sure to use a super fast hard drive. A fast hard drive is crucial for smooth editing in Premiere Pro. Consider using an external hard drive with a fast transfer rate or investing in a solid state drive or SSD to store your project files. I'd strongly recommend not using older spinning disk drives for video editing, only for backup. Tip eight, adjust your sequence settings. Adjust the sequence settings to match the footage you're working with. This can help prevent lag and improve the performance in Premiere Pro. For example, make sure the time base matches the frame rate of your clips. So there we go. Let me know if those tips helped you speed up editing in Premiere Pro. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And remember to check out our full playlist up here.